this more complex understanding of what people are looking for with green burial really has come clear and we've learned it from witnessing the divergence of the two cemeteries that start off. On the left, you see Chassel here, including in Peterson right there, and Joe Youngman right there, who's <laughs> sitting in the back corner, um, who actually really developed that whole area. And over here, this was the original spot at Forest Hill in Hilton, where they were going to allow Green Barrel to happen. And you can tell just by looking, people would go and look at both spots, and they would say, why would I ever go there? Instead <laughs> of over there. So, this is, what, this is the divergence. How is Chassel outperforming? Started late fall 2015. Joe wanted them ready for Christmas, and a lot of us got blocks for Christmas that year. There were 43 um, spots in the original Green Bear area, and they were sold out, I think, within, certainly within two years, because it is so attractive. Joe started developing more, and at this point, they've had nine burials already, and According to the Sexton last week, they've sold 76 of their entire 102 plots. So there's 26 plots left. They're still far ahead of Marquette in terms of sales. Um, I tried to contact the National Green Burial Alliance to find out how these numbers compare to other green cemeteries around, and of course I got no reply. But I'll be doing that research, but I would say they've been doing pretty well. There's a lot of cemeteries around here that don't see 76 plot sales in five years total. So again, why? Why is Chelsea outperforming? Clear connection to the natural world. The original site is like walking through the woods. The new sites, what Joe did, is he put um, a vegetable burial kind of in the middle, and then in these little nooks among the trees, put sections of green burial over to the sides. And they are proving attractive. And you do still feel very much like you're in the woods. The aesthetics are just right. Vertical mass. Um, what I've come to realize is, like what I talked about, my friends are there, and then as more friends have plots, then their friends want plots. <laughs> and you start to get some actual momentum, like a snowball kind of effect. Memorialization. Can yes? Just, um, how close is the um, burial site to the property? People can be buried on their own property. But as Sue Ellen said, there's a lot of rigmarole. So you've got to meet about five legal criteria. You have to deed off a space that's one acre or less. It has to have road access. It has to have health department approval. And it can only be for yourself and your family members. So you can't branch it out any further than that. So you need an attorney, you need a surveyor, and you need probably about two years of process. If the health department rejects you, then you're going to have to build it up like a septic mountain. <laughs> so that was originally my plan too. 